Let's say you have a distracting model like this one that you'll see next in the mediation section. Before we can be confident that any of these variables actually predicts academic performance, we need to ensure that the variance they're explaining isn't too overlapping, meaning they're not explaining the same variance in academic performance. If they are, then that might inflate the variance explained, or the R squared. So one way to do this is by examining the variance inflation factors. Over in SPSS, if you do a linear regression, put your dependent variable in the dependent box, and then put all of your independent variables in the independent box, and then go to statistics, and make sure to check the box for collinearity diagnostics. This will produce the variance inflation factor scores. Click continue, and then OK. The output has several tables, but we're just going to go down to this coefficients table. You'll want to look at the VIF column. Any value greater than 10 indicates high variance inflation, meaning that that variable is redundant with the other variables. So you can see in this case, we don't have anything above 10. Another threshold is 5 and another is 3, just depending on how liberal or conservative you want to be. If we're using the most conservative estimate, 3, then you can see that we have two variables that do break that threshold, discovery at 3.2 and curiosity at 4. About 1. This means that these two variables are slightly redundant with the other variables. Removing one of them would fix the multicollinearity. Nevertheless, it's usually bad to remove variables unless absolutely necessary. In this case, since neither of these variables is above even the medium threshold, I would recommend keeping them. I would only recommend considering removal of a variable if the VIF exceeded 10. I do want to show you what happens when we remove a variable, though. Let's go ahead and remove curiosity, which is the most overlapping. We'll just run this analysis one more time, but remove curiosity. Notice the eigenvalues have dropped considerably. Discovery is still a little bit high, but the rest have dropped down into the 1 range, whereas this is what they were before. Here's what they are now. So that's how you address multicollinearity.